Hello diamonds and welcome back to the Hornet Season 3. I'm now sitting in my store, having really interesting plaza in front of it, which is kind of a new thing. So let's quickly see, uh, check it out. Because it was built overnight for me, so kind of interesting discovery. And yeah, it looks quite good. It uses some of the products that we are making. So of course it also means a little bit profit for us. And yeah, the lanterns, they do look good. So yeah, just to match up this, this thing here, then I added two of the lan lanterns also in front of my store. So it will look a lot better this way. Our neighbor, of course, seems to be crouching a little bit too much towards us without really talking. So I was thinking about adding some type of like leveling here because I have way too much dirt and I want to get rid of it. So yeah, I was kind of thinking that maybe we can have like flat lands between, but they seem to have wanted to dig out an area for the big ugly stockpile. So maybe one day when I meet them, I can talk about this because it's a little bit too much. And it also means that they are a little bit too close with the claims as it's not two claim difference. It's only one claim between. So yeah, I did... Uh, talked to Talonara and they said that it's kind of new player to our service so probably not fully understanding or something so yeah if I see them online I will go ahead and talk about it but anyway uh, for what I'm thinking is to do some housework especially as I just went to buy a little bit more goods for it so I bought all the lumber that was on the market and some more hewn as well so I've been working downstairs a lot and also there's a little bit adjustment on the ramps so probably there's no front to this building anymore I will just take it out and make it the full block probably makes more sense that way so yeah that's something I have to do as well but a bit later so let me first show what I have changed oh uh, yeah I took the loom downstairs to make few carpets for Talonara because she was already complaining that no one is selling certain items to her. So I'm making those and maybe I can deliver some lumber items as well, even though I'm not making them myself. So yeah, I planned like all the rooms down here. So pretty much just a restroom and a living room. I might of course make it a bit bigger later on, but this is how I start. So I had few lumber before buying the new one to make the wall all the way to the end. So maybe I will just expand it a bit and make it a bit more uniform. But yeah, also I put all the stockpiles I had upstairs to the bottom. So this way it doesn't really encroach everyone's view all the time. And it leaves us more space behind our building for all the uh, grass that we use for cloth making so yeah I often go over and cutting still I did need to expand some of the area here and I will need to all do all the way to the end so it also gave me another idea what if I want to just put all the excess dirt I have on top of this area and make like some type of special garden area I think it's a thought I can have so pretty much for the next episode, I will plan it. But anyway, I think we can easily go downstairs and start doing all the construction. And everything else is still running on the tables. So let's hop over. So I think the first idea is to remove all the dirt from here and well, put something better on it so i'm not sure i will probably start with the hewn as the roof and then later maybe i can ah, it's already full of course it's full why wouldn't it be so later i will probably go over and then exchange for something more expensive because lumber as we know is not very expensive it's now gone down to one stinger but there's not much on the market 
as I took the latest ones. Let's see, anyone is producing? Not really. So yeah, there are many who are buying. I mean, Dalnara is willing to pay even two stingers for each, so double the costs. It's kind of nice. So let's put quickly those up. I think I will need to use this block. Okay. Of course it doesn't want to do it when I want it to be done. The game just does not want to do my way stuff at all. It seems to hate me quite a bit. Not sure if it's the, just the distance between the server and me. I'm giving such a significant lag. Like really just mentioned as I had a small chat that he, he saw my struggles with the hewn last time when I was doing work on the living room. Well, not living room, the kitchen. So yeah, it's kind of crazy thing. Anyway, let's add the floor here. I want to get at least one room done with this, if I can somehow. So let's get the rest that we have. Okay, we can do a bit more on the walls as well. Let's see. It's only eight blocks there. And I don't like if it's just two. So I will put them aside. And then rest with the hewn. So we can do this floor to the fullest. Okay, nice. So this one I think I can just fully enclose. Should be totally fine. And perhaps we make the next wall about here. It's quickly pull the walls up. I will need to leave some type of doorway in this corner so we can still come to the storage area because I don't want to close it fully off. Not this way, this way. So I will think about some good way. Ooh, we are already out of hewing as well. Goes so quickly when you're building. So I might leave at the moment just the doorway. I mean, I would need to do this everywhere, I guess. So let's do that. And I mean, it at least looks much better. So rather upper blocks. This, 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 and this. Good done all the middles I should put back to the line and we are just missing one bloody block great I don't have in any other stockpile either right um, nope <sighs> that's the luck as always I will quickly hop up. I will make just one hewn. Which I can't take from this one. Doesn't feel right. So just one hewn log. Does take only like nine seconds, so not too bad. Ooh. It seems that we have received one steam truck. So yeah, I ordered from Willy uh, to get one. Because we didn't have one. And there is competitor to him who is selling it at 399 stingers. Really was 350. So I asked him if he can make me one. He nicely did and well, he managed to get it ready very quickly. So I'm super happy. I can take it off from here. Nice. So, well, at least we can start doing deliveries much nicer without worrying about anything so let's put it down 
And I probably need to get some fuel for that though. So we need to find some coal at least. Who's selling coal? Okay, auto first and auto BU. So Mayoi in this store is selling it. So we might need to pop over very quick. It's not too far. So possibly just a few logs would do. Okay, nice. Let's quickly drive over and get it. I think two logs is even more than enough to go over there. So the road is also nicely taking shape here, as we can see. Like all the intersections seem to be marked. All very good. This area is kind of unique. Not sure what this person is doing. It's like really big windows going all the way down underwater. Huh, that's an interesting barricade. So yeah, maybe in the future we can see what it looks like. Ah, there is ramp, good. I was kind of worried. Hmm. Things are not for resale purpose. Not sure what it's supposed to mean. Because I know that uh, Mayoi had some trouble with uh, some people uh, buying some things that he didn't want them to buy. Like, not sure what exactly issue is not really too important, I guess. Was it something about the upgrades or like this? But yeah. So he pretty much made a situation in in this store it doesn't seem to apply anymore i'm not fully sure what he did yeah because he has made like some type of uh, new um title which is uh, called mayoi whitelist by so it's kind of unique whitelist but it seems that it's not applied to this store and yeah in that one there's a lot of people on it but apparently not everyone so happily we are on it so not too bad see i can't remember where our name was it's kind of difficult to find in in the blue especially it's it's never the right order so let's go through Yeah, it's a little bit jumpy as well when you scroll through those things. It can get even more difficult to read. So then... Ah, yeah. We're right here. Next to Mayo's name. So, yeah. I thought it's applied to this store, but probably not, really. But at the same time, it's the only, uh, only store. So, so yeah. Maybe maybe he changed something and it's no longer active. If not, then maybe he can reconsider adding it again. Because at the moment it's on everyone. But yeah, I came here to get a little bit coal. I hope he doesn't mind us buying it. Maybe later we can deliver some other stuff for him as well. But yeah... So this way we can make sure that our truck runs smoothly. We can deliver everything necessary to wherever we need to go. And as such, let me quickly check. Because Telenora said that she wanted the uh, lumber stuff. Let's see where those things are. Uh, he, she wants seven rugs. I'm only making two at the moment, so... Probably need to increase the production later on. So lumber tables are flying block and benches are also there. So we are going to flying block now. I still have a little bit available so I can hopefully buy it. And yeah, then we can deliver to Darnara's place. She's working uh, on making the house much better for 
us to check out next time. So I'm kind of curious. I mean, she said that her kitchen is a big cramped mess. So, so just to make her life easy, I'm not going to record it and comment it on now. But it will be in the future. And I'm going to look around a lot. Yeah, it's so much quicker to go with the truck. Lovely. So let's see. We need to turn the truck around as well. It's always the toughest thing to do here. So I think I will park it right here as well. So I don't need to worry too much to get back on. So let's see. Lumber tables and benches. We have 45 stingers left, so let's see how much we can get. Oh, yeah, I think it's just two plus one at the moment, so not too, too many. And yeah, they have also most of the items available here. We do have a few extras, but yeah. It's kind of a healthy competition. So if anyone comes to get the furniture, then they might buy from here. Otherwise, not so much. Put those on the truck, like normally people would, because no one is carrying stuff in their hands. And yeah, I will pick up a few lanterns as well, as Donna needs those as well. And then we can go and quickly sell before finishing off this video and next time I can probably showcase my new rooms and all related as well but yeah let's quickly grab the lant lanterns as well so. so let's see where are the lanterns over here how many she wants four probably need to start making more of those as well they are going quite well. I did make a lot more of those. And yeah, I'm ignoring the roundabout rules like, like, I don't know, not so civilized person. <laughs> kind of used to using the cart recently, so, so not sure where to be on the road. But yeah, so this is the house that she has, so we can check it out later. The living room looks kind of good outside, so. Let's sell everything we have. Oh yeah, I forgot to take the rugs as well. Probably need to come back later on. Ooh, 130 from all of that. Not bad. So we spent like, what, 43? And we're getting <laughs> over 100. Of course, added like the 40 for the lanterns. It's a really good price. So I might need to come and to more trading before I hop off but yeah I actually need to leave my house in a few minutes as well so I think I will leave both the video and the server right here so I will catch you all in in few days probably on Sunday so yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one